Peace and blessings, guys. Peace and blessings. Mark the Messenger. We are back on our video. I'm so excited to make this video. It's long awaited. Seven signs. Someone is a religious devil. In Matthew chapter 23, Jesus Christ is going in on the Pharisees. He's going in on these religious devils, these religious agents. And see, what the reason why some of these people, you might be asking, you know, well, Mark, how could someone claim to love God and um, you know, go to church and stuff like that, right? Be religious. And, you know, why would someone be a devil? Why would someone be an agent? It's because they want to appear to be righteous to other people, but in their hearts, their hearts is wax gross. Okay. Matthew chapter 13, verse 15 to 17. For this people's heart is wax gross and their ears are dull of hearing and their eyes they have closed. Least that any time they shall see with their eyes and hear with their ears and should understand with their heart and shall be converted and I shall heal them. Okay. So their, their hearts is wax gross. It all starts in the heart. Okay. And that's what the Bible says in Ezekiel chapter 36 to 26. It says that God will give us a new spirit and a new heart. These religious devils, these religious Pharisees, okay, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Not all of them are devils. Okay, not all Pharisees are devils because there were people in the Bible like Paul who was once a Pharisee, but God uh, chastised him and chained him. But most people, guys, most of these religious devils, most of them don't change. And guys, you got to understand, even Jesus Christ, he was warring with the Pharisees. Okay, one of his, his biggest enemies when I read the Bible, guys, it's always the Pharisees who were tempting him, who were condemning him, trying to judge him. It was always them. So you being a follower of Christ, these are going to be your enemies. These are going to be people who bother you the most. Okay, and that's why I admire Jesus Christ, because he had a lot of patience dealing with these type of spirits. Okay, These type of guys, these type of spirits, they're out here. There's many religious devils, many religious spirits that are out here. And, and the one thing that they do, guys, before I start this video... They attack the body of Christ. They they try to kill. They try to you know kill, steal, and destroy. Just like the devil. Just like the devil comes to the steal, kill, and destroy. That's what these uh, religious Pharisees do. They're gonna cast their stones. They're good, and you gotta be be war ready, guys. I'm telling you, these religious devils are gonna try to condemn you, and they disguise themselves as an angel of light. Well, doesn't the devil do the same thing too? So it's a spirit in these people. So let's get it. Let's go. If you haven't already, guys, make sure you guys smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. The number one sign of a religious devil. Okay, they're stubborn and they're full of pride. They use the Bible, they use the scriptures, to they, they, they use it to twist their narrative, to, to, to justify their errors, to justify their wrongdoings, okay? They use, they use the scripture to condemn people, even though the, the scripture is supposed to re, uh, reform you, change you, renew your mind. You know, you're supposed to edify people in love, because the Bible says knowledge puffs up, but love edifies. But they, they let their knowledge puff them up, okay? So this is a sign, guys, someone who's stubborn. Even the Bible says in Acts chapter 7, verse 51, so it says that, uh, Ye stiff neck and uncircumcised in heart. Notice how it all starts in your heart, okay? Ye stiff neck and uncircumcised in heart and ears. Ye always resist the Holy Ghost as your fathers did, so do ye, okay? The religious spirit and the Holy Spirit are two different things, okay? The, let me repeat this. The religious spirit and the Holy Spirit are two different things, okay? So it says, as your fathers did, so do ye, okay? So that means that these religious devils, they're carnal, Okay, they're not led by the spirit. They have they're, they're carnal minded. They they can't understand spiritual things. They're led by their flesh. They're led by their emotions and what they feel is right. They're not led by the spirit of truth. Okay, they might know some scriptures because the best believe the devil knows the script the Bible too. So they might know some scriptures. But be very cautious. Be very careful of these spirits. And guys, what what does it mean to be real? Okay, what does it mean to be? It means to be righteous. To keep a rule with people. Not even the Bible says that righteous hate lying. That's all what it is. It's no no holier than now, nothing like that. So you're honest with people, even though people are going to hate you for being honest, for you being truthful, okay? Because that's the time we're living in. You know, woe to them who call evil good and good evil. So that's what being righteous is all about, guys. It's just keeping it real. These religious devils are putting up an act. And, and you sheeple, you high-minded people, you fall for it because you have no discernment. Okay, so that's Acts chapter uh, 7, verse uh, 51. Number two, the, set, the number two sign of a religious devil, guys, is they're always critical of, oh, wow, whoo, always critical of other people's walk with God. They're hypocrites, okay? Always critical of other people. They're so focused. They're so busy. They're so, they, they care so much about other people, what other people got going on, but they need to be focused on themselves because according to the Bible, if a man says he's without sin, he's a liar and the truth is not in us. That's why these people don't grow, okay? They're deceiving their own heart to believe that they're so holier than thou. They're so perfect. But the Bible says if a man says he's without sin, He's a liar and the truth is not in him. So always keep that in mind, guys. And also there's a Bible verse in Matthew chapter 7, verse 5 says, Thou hypocrite, okay, first cast out the beam out of thy own eye, and then shall I clearly to cast out the moat of the brother's eye. My fault, someone's calling me right now. Okay, so it's thou hypocrite. So one thing about these religious devils, they can't take out the speck in their own eye. They can't see their own faults. They're too busy judging and condemning other people. 
Okay, that's a sign of a religious devil. That's a sign of a religious spirit working through someone. Hypocrites. No love. They claim to be so holy and so righteous, but they have no love for your brother, no love for your sister, no love for your neighbor. These are devils. These are agents. So always keep that in mind. Now everyone's blowing me up when I'm making this video. Whatever. <laughs> All right, so number three is always judging unrighteously. Okay, oh, yep. Okay, always judging. Now, before I go on with this, we're going, the Bible does say we're supposed to judge, judge righteously. Um, it also says that a spiritual man judges all things. So there's nothing wrong with judging. But when, the problem is when you judge unrighteously, that makes you a hypocrite. Okay, so always un judging unrighteously and judging people by their appearance. Okay, they judge by the outside. They don't judge the heart because their heart is wax gross. Okay, and when, when, it, when it comes to judging someone, guys, judging righteously, uh, you don't want to be so quick to assume. You don't want to be so quick. You got to, you know, test the spirit see their fruits, you know, and, you know, talk to the person because you might, and some people guys, they're battling demonic spirits, they're battling demonic strongholds. And when you have strongholds and demonic spirits, they could deceive you to think that someone's false, someone's fake the whole time. You, you're, you're still in air. You have, you know, demons in you. So the demons could deceive other people that are in darkness to make you feel like someone's fake, someone's false. That's why you always be patient with people. Okay. So always keep that in mind. They're always judging unrighteously. Like I said, we are called to judge, judge righteously. But when, when, when you're judging, so you're out here telling people they're going to hell and this like that. And it's just not not a way to do it. Now, the Bible does say that if you do continue in certain sins, you know, there is a judgment. OK, but that's up to God. And, you know, who knows? Maybe that person can change. It's not up to you. They, everyone has their own walk with God. Everyone has their own relationship with God. These religious devils, they can't accept that because they want to control you. I'm going to go on with the next one because the next one is. Uh, and also 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 17 talks about how God, uh, man judges the outside appearance, but God uh, looks at the heart. So it's all about the heart. The, even the Bible says that through the heart is the beginning of, uh, is when sin, sin starts to come out. Okay, like, uh, let, me, let me read that real quick for you guys. That's in Matthew, uh, out of the heart of man. Okay, that verse just came up to my head, so I'll leave a verse right here. Hopefully, I guess to see. I'll probably leave it right there. It just came up to my head right now, but it talks about how um, it's in Matthew chapter fifteen, verse eighteen to twenty. But next one up is number four is narc traits. Okay, they're controlling. Okay, well, narc traits I'll talk about in a little bit. Controlling legalism and rebelling. Okay, narc traits. Like I said, guys, some of these people, guys, they go to church. They they appear to be a Christian or a Hebrew or Israelite. It's because they want to appear to be righteous. Okay, but in their hearts, it's full of jealousy. It's full of envy. It's full of hate. It's for it's full of murder. Okay, they have selfish intentions. Uh, bad, and these are the, even Jesus Christ, guys. He wasn't afraid to call people devils. He wasn't afraid to call people snakes and demons because that's what they were. Jesus Christ was keeping it real with them. That's what they were. Okay, so we got to be keeping real with people too. If you see someone that's a devil, a, a snake, or an agent, you call them out. Be bold as a line because these type of people, guys, these religious devils, they have narc traits. Like I, I was one of the first ones to ever say this. A narcissist, guys, is a demonic spirit working them. Satan was the first narcissist. Okay, so that's a spirit working through the religious uh, devils. Okay, they had the narc traits controlling all about themselves, selfish intentions, selfish motives. Okay. Uh, controlling, they want to control you. Religious spirit, they want to control you. If they can't control you, then they condemn. Then they cast their stones. Then they, they reveal the whole time they didn't really, they didn't care for you anyways because it was all about control with them. It's all about control. This is the number one thing you could look for in a religious uh, devil, religious spirit. Okay, is the control? They want to control you. And legalism. Okay, they want to make up their own rules. There's people who say, Mark, you got to cut off your beard. Mark, you got to cut off your locks. You, Mark, you got to do this and that and this and that. You know, it's, they, they, it's like they, they want to make you, you know, they want you to be their God, you know. And so, guys, be very cautious. That's why it's important to read the Bible for yourself so you won't be deceived by a wolf. So you won't be deceived by a goat. Because a lot of these people, guys, they want they want to be like God, you know. And they want to, you know, condemn you and control you and you know, like, like have you on a leash. But if you're a king, okay, if, or if you're a queen, you can't be on a leash. You can't, you just can't, bro, by another man. That's not, that's in sin. This, you can't, bro. You can't. All right. Number five, it says, appear righteous on the outside, but inwardly are full of jealousy, hate, envy, and they have a wicked heart. Okay. So this is in Matthew chapter 27, or sorry, Matthew chapter 23, verse 27. So it says, woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. 
Okay, that's what I said. The religious devils, religious spirits, they're hypocrites, okay? Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye are likened to white sculptures, which indeed appear beautiful outwardly, but are within full of dead man's bones and all of cleanliness. So on the outside, they look righteous, they look holy, okay? They, they appear to be righteous, okay? They look, they look so beautiful, but in the inside, Christ says that they're full of dead man's bones and all uncleanliness, OK, that's what the that's what the religious Pharisees do on the outside. They might have their fringes on. There's nothing wrong with having fringes. Okay, They might have like a goddess, uh, you know, love God shirt, something like that. They, they look beautiful on the outside, but the inside they're defiled. OK, the inside they're defiled. So always keep keep in mind, guys, they, they, in the route, in the, they appear righteous on the outside, but inwardly they're full of jealousy. They're full of hate. They're full of envy. They have a wicked heart. They have a wicked heart, guys. Number six. Is oh man, yep. This is a this is a sign to look out for. Always argumentative, engaging in fruitless debates. Yes, me being, you know, a YouTuber. There's always people trying to argue. Always people trying to debate. I'm right and you're wrong. You're wrong and I'm right. If you don't want to do that, guys. Even the Bible says in Romans chapter one, verse twenty eight to thirty twenty eight to thirty two, talks about the reprobated mind. And the reprobated mind it feeds off of debating, feeds off of debating, going back and forth with people. And when, what does it mean to have a reprobate mind? A mind that feeds off of sin. Okay, a mind that you know, a mind that's corrupted, defiled. Okay, so always argumentative. Just like the Pharisees, they kept bothering Christ. If you look, if you read the Bible, guys, this is always the Pharisees who kept bothering him. They were always trying to argue, uh, be argumentative, always trying to tempt him. Okay, always trying to, you know, make him go astray. Devils, bro, devils, demons, snakes, always falsely accusing him. That's what the Pharisees do. They falsely accuse the godly. They attack the true body of Christ, and they have no idea because the pride in their heart deceives them. It's all in the heart, man. So, number seven is they do righteous works to be seen of men. Okay, they'll, you know, give money to the poor to be seen. Uh, they'll fast and they'll, they'll pray in public. You know, they go on YouTube and pray in a video. You know, even the Bible says we're not supposed to do that. Okay, um, they'll, they'll, you know, show, they'll tell you when they're fasting. They'll, you know, they, they, and see, Christ says when you do these type of things, your reward is a man for them to be, you know, your reward for man is them praising you. But you're supposed to do things in secret so God can reward you openly. So God can reward you. You don't want to get your reward and praise a man. Now, there's nothing wrong because the Bible does say let a, let a stranger uh, praise you and not yourself. But when it comes to your rewards, you want your rewards to come from God, not from people. Because people, want, one season they love you, the next season they hate you. So you want to get your true rewards from God. Okay, so that's what they, that's what they do. I, when I notice, guys, they do righteous works to be seen of man. Matthew chapter 25. Sorry, Matthew chapter 23, verse 5. So it says, but all their works they do for to be seen of men. So they go out on the street. So street preach, okay? You know, and, and you know, just to be seen of men, just so they can appear to be righteous. And then men praise them. Oh, he's street preaching. Oh, he's righteous. Okay, so it says, but all their works they do to be seen of men, that they may make broad their fallacies and enlarge the borders of their garments. So yeah, guys, this is the seven signs someone is a religious devil in your life. Number one, they're stubborn, they're full of pride. Number two, always critical of other people's walks with God. They're hypocrites. Number three, always judging unrighteously and judge and judge people by their appearance. Number four is narc traits, controlling legalism and rebelling. Number five is appearing righteous on the outside, but inwardly they're full of jealousy, hate, envy, and a wicked heart. Number six is always argumentative, engaging in fruitless debates. Number seven is they do righteous works to be seen of men and not of God. I love you guys so much. If you haven't already made this far, make sure you guys smash the like button, share this video, and all social media platforms. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel if you, if you like the content. Love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.